I've been interested in Antarctica for a long time. I always want a sense of where's what for places that I'm interested in. In this video we'll put historic places, geographic places and some modern day places of interest on a map. The most obvious place to start is the South Pole. By South Pole we're talking about the geographic South Pole, not the magnetic South Pole. Although they correlated, they're not the same thing. Historically, the first people to reach the South Pole was Roald Amundsen, a Norwegian and his team, who arrived there in December 1911. Rather famously, there were two teams competing to reach the South Pole first, the Norwegian team and the British team. The British team was led by Robert Falcon Scott, and although they reached there in January 1912, they all died on their way back. Since the 1950s, the Americans have had a South Pole research station. Today, the National Science Foundation of America has what's called the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. The South Pole sits surprisingly high at 2,835 meters above sea level. After the South Pole, the next logical step is to break Antarctica up into its biggest geographic regions. We have East Antarctica, West Antarctica and the Antarctic Peninsula. The Transantarctic Mountains divide East and West Antarctica. Aside from the sea freezing for a huge area around Antarctica in winter, there are numerous ice shelves that are there year-round. The two largest, if we look at a map of Antarctica, are the Ronnie Ice Shelf and the Ross Ice Shelf. The Ross Ice Shelf was significant in those early explorations of Scott and Amundsen. Scott went from the one side and Amundsen went from the other side of the Ross Sea on their way to the South Pole. Today the largest research station on the continent is also near the Ross Shelf, the McMurdo Station. Another point of interest here near the Ross Ice Shelf is Mount Erebus, the southernmost active volcano in the world. The sea off the Ronnie Ice Shelf is called the Wendell Sea because Robert Falcon Scott's expedition across the Antarctic to the South Pole had been a failure. The British had wanted some big success. At that time, nobody had yet crossed the Antarctic. There had only been the expeditions to the Pole and back. And so a new expedition set out in 1914 with Ernest Shackleton. This would become one of the most famous expeditions to the Antarctic. The boat that Shackleton and his team were on was frozen in the sea ice in the Wendell Sea and despite trying for quite some time to free the boat, eventually the boat was crushed by the ice and this started a very famous expedition where they crossed the sea ice to an island and eventually the entire team were able to be rescued. Their ship, the Endurance, sunk to the bottom of the sea and it was rediscovered in 2022 more than a hundred years after it had sunk in the Wendell Sea. Another important thing about Antarctica is the ice that potentially will melt and is melting due to climate change. The important thing is ice on land and Antarctica holds the most of that anywhere in the world. The most famous and significant Ice melt is Thwaites Glacier. Thwaites Glacier is a glacier that empties into the sea but holds back a huge amount of ice back on the land and speeding up of this glacier will increase the rate at which ice is pushed into the sea. There's been some really interesting research and it's uh, concerning but interesting to follow and I'll link uh, a channel down below that I think is well worth following if that's an interest of yours. Finally, let's give it some context with the rest of the world. The southernmost city in the world is Ushuaia in South America, in the province of Tierra del Fuego. Ushuaia is 68 degrees west. Cape Town is the well-known city on the bottom end of Africa and the launch point for a lot of South Africa's Antarctic research. It was during a short stint as a student that I was working at the University of Cape Town as a research assistant where I first encountered people who were working in the Southern Oceans and the connection with uh, Antarctica. Christchurch on the South Island of New Zealand is about 38 degrees east. 
that's it for this video just a general reference for the main things and their location in Antarctica. Thank you.